find the inverse. So replace f of x by y. So y equals x cubed minus 1. Interchange x and y. So wherever I have a y, I put an x. And wherever I have an x, I put a y. Solve for y. That means I'm going to add 1 to both sides. And how do I solve for y now? Cube root. cube root both sides. So I'm going to have the cube root of the left-hand side, the cube root of the right-hand side. So cube root of x plus 1 equals the cube root of y cubed. So that y equals the cube root of x plus 1. That should make sense because x cubed and cube root are inverses of each other. So that means that my inverse, f inverse of x, my candidate is the cube root of x plus 1. Now I want to verify. So how do we verify? We look at f of f inverse of x that needs to be equal to x. So that's what we're hoping. So that says anything in the function f, which is f was x cubed minus 1, wherever there is an x, I'm going to put the inverse. We said a candidate for the inverse was the cube root of x plus 1. The cube root of x plus 1 cubed is x plus 1 minus 1. Plus 1 minus 1, add to 0, and you're left with x, and it verifies. So that says, indeed, there's the inverse. There he is. And we have proved that he is. <laughs>